overclock uh, 3.2 so it's not overclocked you know by all means much it's kind of like a stock overclock and I don't even know if it is overclocked it might just I don't know if the P you know the CPU hype um, I don't know, is it hyper threads that it can actually bump up its you know core clocks but it seems that it's you know 3.7 gigs across all six cores especially when I'm rendering video um, so I don't know I, I haven't dabbled too much in it and I don't fully understand um, you know everything about voltages and in your north bridge and all that stuff so I would like to get it over four gigs um, but we'll see for my cooler on that processor I am running an H50 uh, made by Corsair it's a liquid cooled um, self-contained radiator you know and, and pump and it, it runs awesome it's super quiet super low profile um, I, I kind of wish that I picked up a, uh, you know, a Noctura air-cooled setup just because they're they're beefy looking. But the way I I set up my my PC with the you know the lighting and just my cable management, I definitely like the low profile of the you know the little pump that's built into that main unit that sits right on top of the PC. So. That was uh, my cooling. And then I am running a Antec 600 um, version 2 case, the full black one, and it came with what is it? Two, what, two, three, two. I don't know. Two 120 millimeter fans and a one 200 millimeter, I think, or 220 or whatever it is on the top. Um, and I got a pretty good deal on the case, so that's why I picked it up. I do like Antec, um, though now that the build is over, I kind of wish that I got something with a little bit better uh, airflow design. Uh, I definitely like the way that the air flows through my system. I kind of have it um, being pulled in from the front uh, and the side and then exhausted out of the top. And then the um, the radiator pulls cold air from the outside, exhausts it straight inside. But since it's up top, it gets pushed or pulled out by the big 200 millimeter. And then the graphics card blows basically outward. So the front two fans, actually no, sorry, there's three fans that were included with the case. Um, and they were all multi-speed, which was cool and, and illuminated and and what have you. But um, the graphics card gets cooled from the side fan and the front. And then my power supply pulls air from the outside and exhausts it. Um, you know, right next to the um, graphics card. But since it's, I did get an 80 plus gold uh, power supply made by thermal take um, it really doesn't get hot and since there's so much you know airflow going around everything I don't get you know high temperatures at all with my graphics card which is awesome so no complaints with that I think yeah we got enough sand uh, hopefully probably don't but whatever um, so let's let's get back I know it's dark and you guys might not be able to see but that's that. We'll get back. Start cooking that stuff up. Come on. Oh, wow, that was bad. Hopefully, thank goodness it was dark and you guys couldn't see me fail. Um, but we will go this way. It's a high to the piggy. All cross eyed and weird. But, anyways, back to the PC. Um, so, yeah, my, my power supply is an 80 plus gold modular design. Uh, 775 watt thermal take, and it is dark gray. And what actually, I'm gonna cook it in here. Um, 
and with all the, the components, the graphics card being, you know, the dark brown PCB, which is kind of ugly, but in the case of the blue neons, it's, it's nice looking. Um, let's cook this stuff up. I know I, I need to get some some coal, but we'll get that in a second. So I'm going to get four stacks. Four stacks going. Um, I got some coal here. Yeah. And what we would do with that. So I painted the inside of... I know that's one more than I need, but... It's alright. Put eight in each. No, I only need to show seven. That's alright. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. I painted the inside of the case black. Matte black. Which is nice. I did too many. And... Did all my cable management, which is nice. Um... What else? What else do we have as I'm looking down at it? Um... I do have a 500 gig Western Digital Blue Caviar um, hard drive for my storage, and couldn't beat the price at like 30 bucks. Um, can't really beat that price. So I picked that up for my storage and for my uh, oh, crap, and for my main drive, my boot drive. I have a um, Corsair, I forget the name, um, SSD, 64 gig, and I don't put any storage on it, I just use it for boot and, you know, running my programs, and that's why everything loads up so fast on my computer, which is nice, and I got a good deal on that, so that's why I picked that up, I wasn't initially going to use that in my build, but... Uh, one did come on sale, and after I put one in my uh, my MacBook Pro, the 2010 edition, I just loved it. Didn't hear the hard drive spinning, didn't feel any vibrations, battery life went up, um, everything, all the functions with the actual system uh, was sped up, boot up, shut down was quicker, uh, updates, moving files, all that, you know, all the good stuff with... Uh, SSD so I felt like since I have a pretty decent build of a computer might as well suit it with an SSD so I don't get a bottleneck on the um, you know the hard drive so that is what I did and I can't be more happy with it so let's clean this up and this guy is actually coming along pretty good pretty good um Hmm. Can't actually jump one and a half, which is a bummer. But we can do this. Uh, what else? We got that, we got that. That's about all I have to say about the computer. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Oh, okay, this is that room. So there's nothing there. Um... Yeah, I have a, uh, what is it, a SUS wireless Ethernet card, uh, PCI slot wireless card, so that runs my, oh, forgot to talk about the RAM, I have 8 gigs of G-Skill, I think it's a 1066 megahertz, um, I think that I need, you know, 1333 or 1666 or whatever it is, or even 2000, it seems like it's a little, uh, little lacking or I just didn't get a very good compatible one but that is basically the build um, did do some custom lighting with some uh, logistics or whatever you call it uh, cold blue cathode um, oh this is a pain what is it? yeah the blue cathode lighting fluorescent tubes um, what else? Running a uh, Logitech MX5500 wireless keyboard and mouse setup. And the only reason I went ahead with that is because I got a great deal on it and figured I might as well pick one up. Um, definitely love the way it works. Um, the keyboard. 
battery life is ridiculous. I've been using it for, I don't know, 150 days and 